What? Uh, there's probably a fake one somewhere. <laughs> What's that? Uh, yeah, someone put some fake ones in on the course I grew up at. They're kind of they're kind of brown now though. <laughs> they're not green anymore. Robert, uh, scoring here is usually pretty low, but how would you characterize that first seven holes? It seems like you didn't quite have your best game, but you really scrambled. A lot. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think those first three holes are pretty tough into that wind. Um, obviously, some guys do all right with it, but um, the way I was hitting it and everything, I felt pretty good to get out of there, um, making some pars early, and then um, got some chances later on. We talked about how well you're putting this week. Are you putting from memory on these greens? Are you able to do that because you played here or not? I just did it on number six today. Yeah, uh, that, that putt was very, very fast, and I, I learned my lesson a couple of years ago and ran one about 10 feet by. So um, there's been a couple of those here and there, but um, you know, a couple of pins move around too. Go back to your victory here. You did it quite different when you started five strokes back that time around. But can you pull anything from that that you'll be able to use tomorrow? Um, I don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, a few things here and there. And, um, you know, obviously, different situation. You're not just, um, you know, doing everything you can to catch up. Um, maybe a hair more conservative or something here and there. But, um, you know, I think with the wind forecast, they're going to have to make some birdies. Ross, can you remember any memorable pairings from? Uh, we did not play with them much. They were in better tournaments. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, we were. Um, we'd see them at conference. Uh, they'd usually wax us. Um, I think I played with him, I think, a junior event at Bay Hill one time, a um, long, long time ago. So I've, I've seen him here and there for a long time, and, um, you know, super nice guy and fun to play with. And used to play against his caddy a lot in college, too. Um, it was a good snap hook. Um, <laughs> just got a little quick, sent it left. Uh, got a got a decent break over there. I had a shot out of there, um, and you know it was it was a little scrappy the first few holes, and um, got them all up and down. And it was just uh, it was kind of nice to keep it together. I know it's only Saturday, Robert, but, but uh, ten seemed like a, a pretty good swing in terms of giving you a cushion. Anyway, did it feel that way at all? Yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, Camillo was. Was on a pretty good little run there for a few holes, and um, you know, un unfortunately, three putted there, and um, the hole kind of caught mine on the low side, and I got a little bit of a separation there, and then um, you know, some guys were making some birdies late, and Bronson made some on the back nine, and um, you know, I didn't get too far away. What changes when you're close to the lead on Sunday? Does sleep become harder? Um, hard to race a little faster? Yeah, it's probably just hard to get your your mind away from it. Um, you know, you're just trying to try to put it aside for a little while, not think about it too much, and um, you know, just show up and play golf the next day if you can. Kids are here too. Yeah, yeah, kids are here, in-laws are here. Um, yep, Catherine's she'll be six in February, and David's two and a half. So was she born? Was she, uh, she was Maggie was pregnant okay. when I won here. Does she follow your your turn? Is she old enough to follow your tournaments in the group for you yet? She didn't care. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Maggie's here. But, uh, Catherine, yeah, she doesn't care. Um, yeah, you, yeah, you did good, but um, that's about as far as it goes. What's the stroke family going to do tonight, tomorrow morning, before we feel? Uh, probably just get some dinner and chase kids around a little bit and put them to bed and then uh, <laughs> kill a little time in the morning with them. Do you remember what you did on Saturday night before you won here, or was that too no, I don't. Probably got ice cream. <laughs> Most likely large. I'm going to ask you, Trevor, when you won here five years ago, you had on your bucket list playing in the Masters and going to an OU Texas game. Have you been to an OU Texas game yet? Sadly, I have not. No, I think I've been working a few times, and uh, I, think, I think it could have worked. I had something going on last time when I think I could have made it. Might have been this year, actually, but all the stuff going on, uh, wasn't going to go down to Dallas for that. It wouldn't be nearly as much fun. We actually have been, the exception of a few days, been pretty good this year. It was, um, I think, low 60s, mid 60s. It was. It's been pretty good. Um, usually, we've had enough 
cold days, the course deteriorates pretty good, but it's been all right. Do you ever consider moving somewhere warmer? Um, we, we lived, um, in a place my parents own in New Smyrna Beach right after we got married. I think it was, uh, the year I got my tour card, 2012, and then we just spent so much time going back, um, we just kind of said, you know, we're good here, and, um, try to sneak out to Arizona or Florida, you know, when it's cold. March is the only one that is a little tough because you've been a lot of nice places and it's still cold. All good? Yeah, I tonight. Yep. <laughs> Every night? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been going down to that Fuse place. I used to always go to the Dairy Queen, and then it's not a Dairy Queen anymore, so I was a little salty about it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. They, I think I've just been doing like a chocolate vanilla and a caramel or something. Yeah, they only got a few, only got a few flavors in there, so. But it's good. It's clean. <laughs> hey, thanks.